Hey there, here's another quick little movie to show you how to calibrate the gyroscope. Without calibration, the gyro is accurate to maybe 10 or 15 percent, but you can make it much better than that. So we have a new feature in the software that allows you to actually view the calibration data. If you go to calibration expert mode, you can now see for the accelerometer, for the force probe, the gyroscope, and the magnetometer exactly how you convert between the raw data and the calibrated data. So here's the formula, not surprising. Uh, the offset is subtracted from the raw data, that's the ADC value that comes out, and then you divide by the scale factor, um, and that's how you get the calibrated data in for the gyroscope, that would be in uh, radians per second. Um, so, let's see if we can do this. We know, uh, let's see, let's chase that away. Let's select the uh, gyroscope over here, and let's just say record. So now we're looking at gyroscope data. I have not uh, done a real calibration of the gyroscope, but if I just turn this thing around exactly once like that, then I should have the area of that um, integral, I should say, the, around the z-axis. The z-axis is what's pointing out here. Let me chase away the x and y axes. If I just integrate this thing by dragging like that, that should be 2 pi. What I see, instead of being um, 6.28, it is really 5.31. So I need to fix the scale factor in my calibration by exactly that factor. So if I take my calculator and I do 5.31, 6.28 divided, I need to make that scale factor uh, smaller by exactly a factor of 0.85, roughly speaking. Okay, so let's go in here, calibrations, expert mode. We do the gyroscope in the z-axis, which is over here. Okay, and uh, so we need to make this number smaller by uh, 0.84. So I'm just going to multiply that number by 0.84. So that's 939. Oh, yeah, so that's 939. Multiply by, so that's 794 is what this should be instead. Okay, let us, uh, okay, save. There we go. Now we close that. Now let's run the gyroscope again. We'll do the same experiment. There we go. I'll notice I turn it the other way, but that doesn't matter. Okay, we can chase those away. We integrate, and now we're at 2 pi. Pretty good, and you can do that for all three axes.